Hello everyone, it's me, Big Gay Steve. I'm back. I know it's been a while, girl. I've been sick. I've been sick and just haven't felt like doing a mukbang in so long. My ear has been stopped up or I can't hear anything out of it. A couple days ago, I, I said a little prayer. I asked God, I was like, please clear out my ear so I can have a happy Thanksgiving. Girl, I'm going to tell you, I woke up the next day and my ear was cleared out. I could hear so good. So shit, I went to the gay bars that night and celebrated and drank. Got drunk, had a good old time. Praise Jesus. Oh, I'm drooling on myself. <laughs> and then the next morning it was stopped up again. God giveth and God can take it away. So you better behave yourself. Anyway, look what I got for you. Before we get started, though, please like and subscribe and hit the dinner bell so you'll get a notification every time you get a, uh, post a video. I got me some seafood here, girl. You're like, uh, Steve, it's Thanksgiving. What, where's the turkey? What, girl, this is a lesbian Thanksgiving, okay? Seafood, okay? Shout out to all my lesbians out there. No, girl. <laughs> Later on, I'm going over to a friend's house, and I'm going to have some real Thanksgiving food. But this is just lunch. This is just to open up the stomach, stretch it out, you know, so I can eat all that turkey and dressing and all that. Mm. Anyway, guys, sorry I've been gone for so long. How y'all doing? Got me some rumelade sauce here. I like that on my seafood. Yeah, so I'll be going over to, uh, actually, uh, it's my brother-in-law's sister's house for Thanksgiving and uh, we're going to be having all the traditional Thanksgiving stuff. Now I said maybe, mm, I said maybe that, oh, girl, still got the DT. Um, I might tomorrow, I'm think I really, tomorrow I would like to do a live um, video. I go live with you guys. I'm thinking about doing it at one o'clock tomorrow, okay? So let's just say I'm gonna do it at one. I gotta make sure my laptop's working and all that. So one o'clock. So, you know, if if you're available, please, please uh join me. We're gonna I'm gonna eat some uh, leftover Thanksgiving food. I don't have no Thanksgiving food right now because I didn't cook. I'm going to somebody else's house, so I gotta eat the lesbian Thanksgiving. So anyway, happy Thanksgiving, girl. I got thanks last night, though. I already got my thanks. The UPS man showed up. He brought me a package, girl. He knocked on the door. I opened the door, and I'm like, oh, Lord. I was hoping you would show up. He said, can I come in and stuff your turkey, help you stuff your turkey? Fuck, <laughs> My imaginary husband won't be home for 30 more minutes, girl. Hurry up. Come on in. Shit. <laughs> so anyway, I already got my thing. Okay, so what I have here, actually, these little things here I made. These are called sausage balls. Although, for some reason, I think because I use the cheapest sausage I could buy, I think that's what's wrong. Or maybe I put... I, I followed the recipe. I, I didn't put too much cheese. I was thinking maybe too much cheese, but for some reason they didn't, they're supposed to stay in a ball shape, but when I baked them, they flattened out. So now they look like little biscuits. But basically these are wonderful. You take uh, a pound and a half of cheese, okay? I use sharp cheddar cheese. A pound and a half of cheese, which is roughly six cups. Three cups of Bisquick, and then one package of breakfast sausage mild, and one package of breakfast sausage hot. And you mix the sausage and the cheese up together till you get it all together, girl. Then you put in your three cups of Bisquick, and mix that all in there. You knead it in there, girl. You squeeze it and knead it in there like bread or something. Anyway, and then you roll it in the balls, and you bake them in the oven, girl at 450 degrees for about 15 to 17 minutes. Oh, and they're wonderful. Mm. Anyway, after I get off this video, I gotta make some more of these because I'm taking them over to the uh, party. But I make these every year, they're so good. Oh my God. Mmm. It's like a cheesy breakfast biscuit ball. Mm. 
Okay, so that's kind of like Thanksgiving food. This is a bacon wrapped shrimp with cheese and jalapeno in it. That's left over from a restaurant from yesterday. <laughs> then I got some calamaris and I got some shrimp and these are out of a box, but they're good. Then this fish, this is also a leftover fish girl <laughs> from the other night. But this fish I made is so good. I took swai fillets, you can buy them frozen in the seafood. Swai fillets, and then I mixed mayonnaise, Hellman's mayonnaise with Parmesan cheese, okay? Just mix it up, put as much Parmesan as you want in the mayonnaise till you taste it and you like it. Then I spread that over the fish, and then I put um, uh, Italian breadcrumbs on top, and then drizzle a little melted butter, girl. She then put a little lemon twist on there. And baked it. And then underneath that is some uh, wild rice with, um, what do you call it? Long grain rice, girl. Anyway, these little shrimps, they come in a box, girl, but don't hate on them. Shit. They're good. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. 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 Oh, God. Cheers. Mm. By Dr. Pepper, it tastes just like bourbon, girl. So anyway, yeah, I think it'd be fun to do like a leftover live video tomorrow. So I'm going to shoot for that for 1 o'clock tomorrow, okay? So join me if you can. Mm. Mm. Anyway, I hope we all sitting around the table right now with your family. Hopefully it's a family you like. You know, we all got the family members every year we dread to getting together with them. But well, I'm going to peel this off the lemon. But girl, just keep adding alcohol. It'll be all right. All right, let's give this fish a taste. I already had this the other night, but girl, uh, this is good. I actually used to eat something similar to this at Luby's. I love the name of that restaurant, Luby. <laughs> but they're all going out of business for some reason here in Houston. But they had something similar to this where they put mayonnaise and stuff on top. But anyway, I just came up with this myself, but it is very, very good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Of course, you want to put a little salt and pepper on it. Get it seasoned up the way you like it, girl. Mm. And I baked the fish. I think I baked it at 450 for like 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. Just want to make sure your fish is done, girl. Because nobody likes no raw fish except people at a sushi bar and maybe lesbians. Mmm. Mmm. All right, let's try these here. Calamari's in a box, girl. <laughs> shit. You know, a lot of shit you get at the restaurants, they bring it like that. The restaurant don't even make it. It's already frozen. You just don't know. Mmm. Mmm. They're good though. Shit. Sure. These are the best thing in the world. These shrimp wrapped in bacon with the jalapeno and cheese inside. Oh my God, girl. Oh, I should have got me some. I like to dip these in ranch, girl. That's okay. I'll put some of that ramalada sauce on it. Mmm. Mmm. See that girl? Hell yeah. Mmm. Ah. Uh. Girl, I can eat like 150 of these. I love them. Shit. 
Mm. But anyway, it's that day, Thanksgiving. Don't worry about... I mean, you can be moderate. You know, just if you're on a diet or whatever, don't don't hate yourself too much if you blow your diet a little bit today. It's Thanksgiving, girl. I've actually lost a little bit of weight, but today I'm like, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Like, I almost didn't want to do this mukbang because I know I'm fixing to go over and eat <laughs> Thanksgiving. But I'm like, you know what? I haven't given my babies a mukbang in a while. Shit, girl. Suck it up. Mm. Oh, it's so good. That fish is... Girl, I'm telling you. Take you some Hellman's mayonnaise. I'm going to say it again. So, Steve, you're repeating yourself. Girl, I love to do that. Hellman's mayonnaise. Mix some Parmesan cheese. You ain't got to be the fancy Parmesan. Just the one that can. Taste it. See if it's parmesan -y enough for you. And then salt and pepper your fish. Then spread that mayonnaise on there. And then put the breadcrumbs. And then uh, put some uh, butter. I put some melted butter on there. And I squeeze the lemon and I put the little lemon twist on top. Like I said, bake at 450, girl. Ugh. Comes out good. And you can use any kind of fish you want, I can imagine. You don't have to use swai. I just use swai because it's uh, very lean and light. Mm. Mm. Oh, and it's possible I might be doing my first Big Gay Steve fishing video Saturday. The weather's supposed to be nice. So we might go out on the boat and try to catch some fish. And I'll, I'll make my first little gay Steve um, fishing video <laughs> for that other channel I was on before. We'll see what happens, girl. Like I said, I hate making promises to y'all because something comes up, always some shit happens and I can't do it and then I feel bad and then y'all start thinking I'm flaky, which I kind of am. <laughs> Not as flaky as this shrimp, though, girl. Mmm. Girl, I know it's over now because it's Thanksgiving, but I went to the grocery store yesterday. That was stupid. What is that? Is that something on my nose? Girl, I went in there and it was just wall to wall people. Everybody going crazy. Everybody's in a bad mood. Everybody's in a rush. Nobody has any sense of direction at all. You know, when you go down the grocery aisle, it's supposed to be just like the highway. The right side's this way. The left side's coming this way, right? Head-on traffic. Girl. It was crazy. It was like trying to drive in the Philippines or something. People paid no attention to the laws. There was no such thing as a stop sign, a red light, a white line on the road. That shit didn't mean nothing. And people just stopping in the aisle when they see somebody they know and talking. I don't get that one either. Like, bitch, I want to talk. Go to a coffee shop and sit and have a cappuccino. Don't park your big fat ass in the middle of the grocery aisle. We're trying to get our groceries over here. It's Thanksgiving tomorrow. People are so rude, girl. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This rice is good, too. This also came out of a box. The Zatarans. Long grain rice and uh, wild rice with herb and butter. Or herbs. It comes with the herbs. You have to put the butter in it yourself. Wonderful. It goes good with the fish. Uh, but yeah, now my ears stopped up again. Oh, it pisses me off. I guess I shouldn't have, sh shouldn't have celebrated like I did. I don't think God approved of that. He's like, oh, we're going to go act crazy and get drunk at a gay bar after I give you a blessing. Okay. <laughs> Let me repossess that blessing for you. 
Mm. Mm. So, girl, now I got to get on my knees again and pray for forgiveness. Ah. Uh, mm. So Prada got her first spanking today on Thanksgiving Day. That's how I gave thanks to her. Because she gave thanks to me by pissing on my brand new $800 rug in the living room. I turned into mommy dearest on that bitch. I was like, no wire hangers, hooker. <laughs> but she's all right. I know where to hit them where the bruises don't show. Okay, anyways, I think I'm going to wrap it up right there, girl. Y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope your company is great. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. I hope your meat is moist, girl. Talking about the turkey breast. I hope nothing's dry. I don't want you to have a dry Thanksgiving, girl. Don't drink too much, and if you do, remember to call Uber or call a relative that's not as drunk as you, okay? I love you. Give me a kiss. Other side. Happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you tomorrow, 1 o'clock Central Time, Texas time, okay? I'm going to go live, girl, all the way live. And we'll eat some leftovers. Bring your leftovers. Get them ready. Set them on the table, girl. Eat with me, okay? And we'll talk about, maybe we'll share recipes, share, uh, sex stories. Whatever y'all want to do, girl, I love you. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. <laughs> this thing don't want to work. <laughs>